Hello, my name is John Rounds. I'm the Senior System Analyst here at TalkPhone, and today we will be unboxing an ETP 500EI. So here we have the ETP 500 box. Uh, as it shows up uh, from TalkPhone or your distributor, I already removed the staples to save us a little bit of time there. So the front flap opens up and lifts open. The first thing we are going to encounter is going to be the security screws used for mounting the phone. So there are a security Torx with a little pin inside them. Uh, T20 is the size. And there is six of those in there. We lift up the next flap and we get to the back of the phone itself. So as we can see, the label does say ETP 500 EI here um, because it has two buttons labeled emergency and information. As we flip the phone over, we can see our two buttons. We have no damage, it's not scratched, all that goodness. Uh, and then hiding in the bottom of the box is the installation and operation manual that goes along with it. So we have five individual wires and a phone line pigtail. So standard RJ11, common analog phone plug, um, for connectivity and power to the device. It does use the middle pair out of the plug, which is typically red and green. Uh, then our additional wires, we have two auxiliary outputs. So red and white go together to make auxiliary output number one. Uh, this is often used for a gate release or door release, um, sometimes triggering a fire panel for notification. Uh, orange and black is gonna be output number two. This is most commonly used to trigger the blue strobe lights that are on the top of most talk phone enclosures. Um, and then we have a green ground wire uh, for when you're in an ungrounded enclosure or non-metal enclosure so that we have some kind of ground connection uh, for the call box. Hi, in this case, we're covering button number one, the emergency button and activation of output number two for controlling the blue strobe light. Uh, the first step is gonna to be to call into the emergency phone. That will be based on the telephone number for the line that it is connected to. So on my phone here today, I'm gonna to dial my emergency phone. It should answer on the first ring and play back an ID number that is in it from the factory configuration. Uh, next will be the access guard access code to get into programming. That's going to be star four star star. It responds with the single tone in confirmation, which is the acceptance of the command. To set the primary phone number for button number one, again that's the emergency button. It's going to be star thirteen star, followed by the phone number and another star. And again, we get the confirmation tone. Uh, our final step will be setting output number two, which is that orange and black wire, to activate with a call being started with button one, the emergency button. That command is gonna be star 56 star. Again, a single tone for confirmation. Programming is done at this point. We can either hang up the phone, or if we press the pound sign, the call box will hang up for us slightly faster and then we still have to hang up our call to end the call. To begin with, you're going to call into the line number associated uh, with the telephone line connected to the ETP 500. Uh, and then we're going to enter the PBX mode command as well as a phone number to dial. Uh, and then we'll follow it up with a special situation for the uh, auto dial or ring down line. So first I'm gonna dial into my phone. Wait for that first ring and the phone to answer. So it has finished playing back its ID number. We can enter the guard access code to get into programming, which is star four, star star. Wait for that single tone in confirmation. 
Then the next command will be for PBX mode, which is star 14, star 3 star. Again, single tone of confirmation. Uh, now to set the phone number, uh, part of the reason we're using the PBX mode is because we need that nine or eight or some other digit to access the outside phone line. So we typically need to pause after that as well. So when we enter that phone number, it's going to be nine pound the rest of the phone number so that we get that pause and allow the system to respond to the nine. Uh, so the command itself is going to be star 13 star. So that has our primary phone number set and would work on most PBX phone systems that require a digit to access the outside line. Now we have a special situation on some PBXs where they set up a ring down or hotline or auto dial line, uh, depending on the name they use for it, where when the phone goes off hook, it would automatically dial the intended number without the call box of the talk phone ETP 500 needing to dial that number. In this case, we need the PBX mode command like we just did, the star 14, star 3 star, but we don't need the whole phone number. Uh, we just need a few digits in there to satisfy logic checks essentially and have things work. So in that case, I typically do star 13 star, one, two, three, four, and another star.